Hello, Columbus family. I hope and pray that you and all of your family are doing well. I'm very excited to share with you some wonderful Columbus news. I'm joined by two alumni and entrepreneurs from the class of 1991, Marcus Lamonis and Mario Sueda. I asked them to be on this Zoom video with me today so we could share the big, big news together. I'm so excited to announce that Columbus News Center for Science and the Arts will be named in honor of these two remarkable explorers as they've made a very generous gift to the project. Marcus and Mario, on behalf of the students, faculty, staff, parents, and alumni, we thank you for your incredible support. We are so grateful to both of you and honored that the building will be known as the Marcus Lamonis and the Mario Suedes Center for Science and the Arts. And this new center is gonna put Columbus at the cutting edge of STEM education, elevate our visual and performing arts programs, and make an extraordinary impact on our school community. And I thought that the Columbus family would like to hear directly from both of you about why you decided to make this gift and your thoughts on this building project and your thoughts on Columbus. Marcus and Mario. I want to have Mario go first because he's the one that roped me into this. So I'll have him explain uh, why he thought this was rope. important for us. Well, you know, it's, it's weird. It's, it's one of those things you can't explain. You know, Columbus is, uh, it's magic. It's, I think those four years are four years that you change a lot, you grow a lot, you learn a lot. And being there for those four years have, has really impacted me more than any other four years of my life. Um, and I don't understand why. So that's the magic of the school. And, you know, Marcus and I have been speaking a lot and we talk a lot. And, and one of the things we've come together with is, especially now, everything's so uncertain, everything's so scary, you know, family, we, you know, I have older parents and, you know, all that. And we want to make sure that not only our friends that are alumni, like myself, that's having a, a, a son starting Columbus, but also for the faculty and for all the alumni to always know we're moving forward, we're going adelante. So, I mean, honestly, Mark was the one that was saying, man, now's the time, everything's so negative, you know, let's do something positive. So that was the, the big push uh, behind this. And I'm super excited, not only for my son, but for all the generations past. And I have two nephews that graduated from Columbus, uh, another nephew, Anthony, that Anthony Lopez and Max and Alex and, and all my friends and family that have, uh, you know, kids and, and we're just super excited and looking forward. Mark? I think for me, you know, while Mario and I have experienced, um, you know, solid business success, our success is really rooted in something very different than that. And when I think about our time at Columbus, at least my time at Columbus, I think uh, my devotion to faith and, and the Marist brothers' ability to influence my character decisions and how I think about people and, and how I think about giving back is really probably uh, a larger part of who I am and what my DNA is more than anything else. And I. I I want to really make sure that the alumni and the parents and the other students understand that while you get a great education at Columbus and while you make wonderful friends at Columbus, our journey there was really rooted in the Marist brothers instilling in all of us a belief in ourselves, a belief in God, and a belief in other people. And we worry that in today's day and age, there are lots of things that can take us off center from that. And at the end of the day, no matter how good or bad things are, we have our faith and we have our belief in Jesus Christ and our belief in the things that we were taught um, while going to Columbus. And I know a lot of people have a lot of fond and fun memories about Columbus in the hallways, in the classrooms, on the football field or whatever that may be. But my memories also a circle around my time in the chapel, uh, my time with uh, various brothers giving me mentoring advice and coaching me and teaching me about right and wrong learning from other uh, teachers there about life skills that are far beyond the textbooks. And I think as we looked at this opportunity to, uh, to really give back our blessings uh, to Columbus, it was important that it was in an area where we, we felt like it was driving towards the future. Yes, Columbus is, a, is amazing at athletics and that's a component of it, but it's also amazing at understanding how to get the best out of people. And, I don't know where I would be today if Columbus didn't peel back the onion uh, of who I am and peel back the onion of who Mario is. And we want to make sure that every student has an opportunity to have their onion peeled back so we can get the best out of them. 
Um, it's not a pay it forward model. It's a reinvest in ourselves and our, in our school that made us who we are today. And so we not only are happy to uh, participate in this great project, but we're asking other parents and other alumni to at whatever level they can to continue to understand that Columbus is about building men for the future. It's about building faith in yourself and faith in other people. And so um, this project cannot be done just by Mario and I or by, by the high school itself. It needs the support at whatever level anybody can afford so that we can continue to build for the future. One thing I wanna mention, one thing I wanna mention is that I know that one of the things that you worked on is making sure that there are different naming opportunities inside the building. And it's important that at whatever level you can give, there are opportunities. I don't know if I'll be able to convince you to even have chair naming rights in the classroom. But we wanna make sure that everybody understands that giving isn't about how much you give, it's about giving what's comfortable for you. And so this building was set up like we would set up a business. We want everybody to feel like they can participate in it. So uh, if you get a random phone call from Mario or myself or from the school, it is to check on you, but it is also to see um, what your ability is to, to contribute to the school as well. Yeah. Guys, that's so beautiful. And I cannot thank you enough for your very generosity, your generosity, your support. What you do truly exemplifies the strong brotherhood spirit of Columbus. So I encourage anyone who wants to learn more about the new Marcus Lemonis and Mario Suedas Center for Science and the Arts to visit our school website where you can see images, facts, and as Marcus mentioned, you can make a donation toward the center as well. So also be on the lookout for more building updates from Marcus, Mario, and myself. And so until next time, Adelante. <laughs>